Hey everyone, my name is Aditya and I'm a developer advocate at Salesforce. In this quick take, we are going to see how to fix CSP errors in your apps built with Lightning Web Components open source. But first, let's understand what CSP is. Content Security Policy, or CSP in short, is an added layer of security that prevents certain types of attacks like cross-site scripting, data injection, among others, on your website. Essentially, you define a list of origins or domains from where content and resources like your JavaScript files, CSS files, images, iframes, APIs, etc. can be loaded from. By default, anything on the same origin or domain as the current web page or the request will be allowed. Anything that you haven't safe listed will be blocked. For example, you can define a policy that says images that are hosted on your own website or on cloudinary.com can only be loaded on your web page. And CSP makes sure that happens. And it blocks images from any other domains. In addition to specifying the domains or origins from which your content can be loaded, you can also specify which protocols are allowed. For example, you can define all the content must be loaded using HTTPS only. So, how is CSP enforced? You just need to add the HTTP header content security policy to a response and give it one or more values, which are called as policy directives. And this controls what resources a browser is allowed to load. There are different directives that allow you to control the origin for different content types. For example, ImageSRC lets you define which domains images can be pulled from. And ConnectSRC defines which domains you can make callouts to and so on. But your policy must include a default SRC directive, which is used as a fallback for resource types for which you haven't explicitly defined a policy. Here is an example of a policy that safe lists cloudinary.com domain as a source for images. And whenever you see the self keyword in a directive, it's actually an alias for same origin. So this is the concept of content security policy. Now let's see it in action. So here I've built an app that lets me search for books. It has a banner on the top, a search box. And when I click on search, it shows me some results, which includes the book title, a thumbnail and some description about the book. Now, if you look at the code behind it, you can see that I'm using an image from unsplash.com for the banner on the top and I'm using Google APIs to get the list of books. The Google APIs result looks something like this, where each book has a thumbnail whose URL is from the google.com domain. So I've been using the watch command so far for local development, which doesn't enforce CSP. So everything works fine like you've just seen. But to run my code in production, I need to create a production build using the build script and run the app using the serve script. The serve script initializes an express server and you'll find this code in the server.js file in the scripts folder. And this express server serves the build output with CSP enforced. So now that CSP enforced, let's go back to the app. And now you can see that it doesn't work as expected. If I open the browser console, you can see there are multiple errors that say CSP has prevented loading of scripts, images, and so on. So how does this express server enforce CSP? It does it using Helmet. Helmet is a library that helps you secure your apps by setting various HTTP headers. And like we've discussed, content security policy is one of those headers. In its simplest form, you just initialize the library and it sets a few default values, which can be found in the documentation. So the default values say that you can load images, scripts, styles, or make callouts to the endpoints from your same domain, because all of these directives have the value self. But in our use case, we have an image coming from Unsplash. Then we are making a call to Google APIs, which in turn is returning results with images from the google.com domain. So how do we safe list all of them? 
It's simple. Instead of using the default helmet configuration, you replace it with a custom configuration. Here I've passed some configuration options to the content security policy method. You can see that I've whitelisted googleapis.com in connectsrc and unsplash.com and google.com domains in imagesrc. And of course, I added self to a few directives so that content or resources from the same domain can also be loaded. With these changes, let me run the serve script again. And now you can see that it works perfectly. So in case you're running into CSP issues when building LWC OSS apps, now you know how to fix them. The code for the app that I've shown you is available on a GitHub repo, which I've linked in the description of this quick take. Thank you for watching. If you've learned something, be sure to like this video. If you want to get more content like this pushed directly to you, click subscribe and click that bell icon to get notifications.